Hello friends, my name is Andy, you're watching World Culture Wrestling, this is your daily news update and this one is all about WWE Crown Jewel, so grab your coats and put up your umbrellas because there's going to be a sh** storm. So by this point, most of you will have already heard about the alleged assassination, and I stress alleged assassination, of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul last week. Why am I still wearing a jacket? I am inside. A noted critic of the current Saudi regime, Khashoggi hasn't been seen since entering the building last week, with Turkish officials claiming he was murdered inside there, and the Saudis of course denying it. In a wrestling context, this has brought fresh disgruntlement to WWE and their business dealings with Saudi Arabia, particularly as Crown Jewel is only a few weeks away on November 2nd. To be fair, all Western organisations currently doing business with the nation have come under immense pressure in the wake of this situation with one example being virgin head honcho Big Dick Branson, who was supposedly pulled out of a $1 billion business deal with the country, and now WWE have finally addressed the situation. Well, I say addressed, here's the full extent of their statement. We are currently monitoring the situation. That's, uh... That's certainly something. Now WWE kind of had to comment on this in some shape or form, but that's about as non-committal as it gets, even though we probably shouldn't have expected anything different. It sounds like at this stage that the company are just going to sit back and wait and see what happens, because obviously Vince McMahon doesn't want to pull out of a business deal that's going to net him a cool $45 million every single year. Now on top of WWE's statement, there's a fresh report out on foxnews.com, and it features key quotes from several high-level wrestling journalists. One of these is the Wrestling Observer's Dave Meltzer, who claims that the fresh level of scrutiny may force WWE to finally consider pulling out of the controversial deal. Now another comes from PW Insider's Mike Johnson, who certainly wants this to happen, but reckons it's extremely unlikely. And Johnson's colleague Dave Shearer adds fresh context, noting that WWE have a specific contract in place for Crown Jewel, they can't just cancel that event because they'd face severe financial and legal repercussions. So at this stage I think it's pretty pretty safe to say that WWE probably aren't going to pull out, but as the Kasogi situation rumbles on, particularly if it's found to be a murder, the criticism and the pressure are only going to get worse. Whatever happens, this is a very divisive situation, but also a very delicate one with lots of financial, moral and political concerns, so by all means, go ahead and talk about it down in the comment section below, but please stay civil. Anyway guys, that's all for today, be sure to like, share and subscribe, and once you've done that, head on over to whatculture.com forward slash WWE, where you'll find all manner of great articles from the likes of Jamie Kennedy, Benjamin Richardson, Michael Hamlet, and my dad, the wizard, Michael Sidgwick. You'll have a great time. I've been Andy, and I'll see you later.